All right, what's going on, guys? So I'm out here chilling by the pool, hanging out with the dogs and everything, and I figured I'd finally go ahead and do this Q&A. So um, I'm going to show you all my Instagram. So as you can see, 99-plus requests. So I've got a lot of requests. There's literally hundreds of them. Um, we'll see how many I can get through and everything. But um, I used to be able to go through all my DMs, and people were actually really surprised when I would comment back and be like, you know, give them an answer or just say, hey, what's up? People were really surprised, and I'm like, it's not that big a deal. But then as your page or channel or whatever becomes more popular you get so many that it's 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 almost impossible to keep up with it unless you were just constantly constantly like on top of replying to DMs and stuff so I had said on Instagram I was gonna go through here and do a um, just a Q&A go through all here and so that's what we're gonna be doing today so let's just go right off the top uh, we got GBABI873 said, Yo, can you tell me where to get white color match tail lights for a 2017 Tahoe? And the uh, short answer for that is no, I cannot because I don't have a Tahoe and I do not know. Uh, and I'm all these, I'm just going to accept them. So I'm not going to reply, I'm just going to accept. So they go to my primary and hopefully everybody watches this video. But um, just Google it. I don't know. Google color match tail lights for 2017 Tahoe. Somebody's website will pop up and you should be able to go through someone. Um, the reason I don't tell everyone, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. The reason why I don't tell everyone where I got my tail lights from is because I didn't have the best experience. Had some issues with the tail lights. Reached out to the company. They didn't really want to work with me. They basically just said, hey, if you want to pay shipping, ship them back. We might can fix them. We might whatever. And I was like, okay, well, that just. It just rubbed me the wrong way, so instead of bad mouthing them or something, I just don't promote their company, and that's that's just plain and simple. Because I don't think it's not right to go bash on somebody's company, whatever. Unless, well, I guess it depends on your experience, but I'm just not going to do that. I'm just not going to promote them. Um, Eddie underscore twenty one J asked, "What happened to the truck?" I posted a Instagram story, me getting pulled over one year ago in the Duramax. Uh, for my tent, literally two minutes after I left the tent shop, um, I sold the truck. Uh, plain and simple. I know a lot of people miss that apparently, but yes, I did sell the truck. McWeeny said, "Did you vinyl wrap your front bow tie emblem with black or white, or did you buy aftermarket emblem?" I actually took my bow tie out and shaved it down smooth because it is like dimpled. I shaved it smooth and then painted it with spray paint, um, the white center and then the black outline on the chrome, as well as the mustache, the Z71, everything up front I just took out, sanded, and uh, painted with spray paint, and it's pretty dang close match. Alright, I am Malf, I don't even know, hey how are you, my name is Lewis, blah blah blah, and I am a video editor, are you looking for someone to help you, uh, okay, no, nope. Not looking for anyone, thank you for reaching out, but no, I, it's, no. Lance.Allen96 said, hey man, where did you get the seat covers at? Just got the same truck. I got them at Sportsman Camo Seat Covers. And I, like I said, a lot of these questions, repetitive, and uh, I mean, all, all these are answered on my YouTube, so I get it, not everybody wants to watch my videos, but, you know, hey, check them out. Rado Foya says, what do you use to remove bug stains? Thanks. Uh, he's talking about it on the front of my truck. Basically, I just pressure wash the crap out of it and then scrub it with my mitt. Uh, bug and tar remover, I can't remember. Maybe it's Meguiar's. That crap works really good. Bowtie underscore Sparky14 said, Hey man, love your truck. What did you cost for your exhaust? I got quoted between eight and 900 up here in New York. Um, the exhaust was 350 and that was with the exhaust tips. Obviously, I live down here in the south. It's probably a lot more common for my setup to get done so I could see why it would be more expensive. J. Perry Lewis 16 said, are your fog lights aftermarket and are they LED? No, they are completely stock with the tent on them. Chase underscore Breedman said, how did you tint your headlights? I want to do mine like that. Um, multiple videos, like most things on YouTube. Um, it's just eBay special headlight tint, slap it on there, we're done. 05 F-150 said, when you bought your LBZ, where did you find it? I'm looking into buying one and was wondering where the best place to look. Yours was extremely clean. Um, it, I mean, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't like the cleanest thing out there. The frame was good. The inside was pretty good. The body was all right. Um, just, I don't know, Facebook Marketplace is where I found mine. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just, uh, I use Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Auto Trader, all of them. Um, even some Facebook 
pages for LBZs, that's also a good option. Miles Dukam said, I love your Ford. I have a similar one. However, it's a 4.2 with a 5 speed. I really like the wheels you put on it and was wondering what they are. They were close to, they look close to stock and that's what I'm going with. Uh, maybe similar size. They're 16 by 9 ion, ion alloy with um, 305.70.16 Nitto mud grapplers. Uh, Tyler underscore Altry25 said, I can't stand that man. At least he was on the other side of the road. I have people do this in the same lane and lay on the horn. Talking about people that cut grass into the road, which just blows my mind. Just have a little bit of courtesy. Cut it out, away from the road, at least the first like two, three passes. Cut it away from the road. We don't want to have to drive through all the crap. We don't want to have you sling crap on us. Just like, just no, just be courteous. Josh Hernandez 37 said, hey bro, I'm actually watching one of your truck meet vids and I was wondering how much you guys make out of horsepower. By the way, love your vids. Um, my truck's completely stock minus a drop-in air filter, so whatever it makes stock, like just stock. I don't know what Meat's truck makes. Meat's probably, Meat's probably is pretty decent. Um, however, he's got like thousands of pounds extra of uh, bumpers and headache rack and it's heavy, so uh, mine stock though. Mr. Chu underscore 87 said, hey man, how big of a tire can you fit with a MotoFab leveling kit? Wanting to do the same leveling kits, just don't know what brand to use. I mean, there's plenty of brands of leveling kits. You can use whatever brand you want. MotoFab's good. I mean, Rough Country, there's tons of them. Just, I mean, they're all pretty much the same thing. As long as you install them correct, use some upper control arms. If it's a bigger one, you're fine. Um, as far as tires go, you can fit 35s on the stock wheels, um, 33s easily, um, no rubbing on stock wheels. If you go wider wheels, obviously you're not going to go 35s. You're going to go 33s, and depending on what brand, you'll, you can run into some fairly bad rubbing issues. Dylan 81 said, what roof rack was on Baby Squat? They were Yakima. All Yakima, everything about it was um, from the pads to the wind visor to the actual rails themselves. Everything was Yakima. 910 underscore B Gamey said, what kind of exhaust setup you got on Larry? It is a pre-cat back true dual straights. I'm eventually going to make a video on it at some point. I know I've put it off for way too long. Underscore Anthony Calhoun says, what's the wheel and tire setup? And that's starting he's talking about on Silverado. Uh, it's 22 by 12 ballistic rages with 33, 1250, 22 Aturo Trailblade MTs. Uh, Kev4 underscore A just sent some fire emojis with uh, my, uh, from my Instagram stories. Uh, Rube.19 said, bro, where did you get those seat covers? Sportsman camo seat covers again. Hopefully they're going to reach back out to me about some seat covers for Larry. Because I'm, like, yeah, I'm going to try to talk with him. Larry needs some seat covers. Sean Bramsey, he had an old message from December. Said, what kind of antenna is that on your truck? Um, I don't even know. It's off of Amazon. Clapped Ford says, hey, I was watching your video on Larry and how to install drop shackles. And I also, and I also didn't get enough drop in the rear as I thought it would. You think you could show me or send me a video how to take out the overload spring? Um, I don't know exactly. I mean, you just take the leaf apart and you take the overload spring out. I haven't done it personally, but I mean, it seems simple enough. There's a stack of leaves. Take it off. Take your axle off. Unclip the pack. Take the overload spring out. And be done with it. That black radio 15. He just commented back. Send me some pictures of his truck. It looks good. Uh, I mean, replied to several of my couple of my uh, stories. Um, 5.44 it said, bro, so do you have seat covers on your seat straight up camo? <laughs> um, they're seat covers. All right, Matt underscore McGregor dot one sent me several things. Uh, hey man, oh, say so you saw me earlier. Um, he was in the black lifted taco. I do remember that. I should have vlogged back then when I had my taco and I could have done so much more. I really dropped the ball. If you're young, like if you are a teenager right now, take advantage of that, genuinely. Don't be scared of what people think you're gonna say about you or anything like that. Just just go for it. Just don't wait till it's too late. Just just go for it. 
Wesley.Rose underscore said, getting some high flows on my old tent gym tomorrow after work, man, dropping it off at the shop today. Heck yeah. I'm sure it's going to sound sick. Tent Gen F1 guys. They show a lot of love. Gabe Allman dot one. Hey man, huge fan of the channel. I have a 2017 LT and I've been in the market for some rims that don't want to break the bank but still look good. Any suggestions? Go on custom offsets, list it what size you want, and then go from lowest to highest. If you see some, get them. If you do get some, go to the where you found out about them or whatever and click my name. I don't even th I think. Because I, I, I got some emails saying that it expired because I didn't tell anyone about it and no one did it. But then it's still on their page, so I, I don't even know. I don't know what it does. I don't think it does anything for me for you to put that, but I guess it looks good for you to do that. I don't know. B underscore Moody03 said, Hey, bro, the truck looking sick in person at the meet the other day. It was about to come up to you, but every time I got dragged to do something else. Well, heck yeah, man. I appreciate it. It's, you know, it's not flawless, and I, I think if you, if you, really eyeball it in person you'll see I mean it's got rock chip it's got one or two door dings I mean it's a truck that I drive all the time so it's it's one of those things it, it, it has its flaws but I think it still does look really good in person as well so I appreciate that Bubba underscore Cope underscore Darnell said hey sorry to bother you but did you get your seat covers on babies but where did you get your seat covers on baby scar I was needing some and love your sportsman camo this feels like a promotional get back with me we need to get some for Larry. All right. Trey G03 said, hey, this is Trey. I have a 2018 Silverado, but all white and chrome. I need to color match my tail lights. Where did you get your white house tail lights? And do you talk, wait, or who do you talk to for your lights? And it's in a picture of his truck, which looks good. Um, like I said, I don't promote the company that I got it from because I didn't have the best experience. It's one of those things when you're, when you're dealing with a company, and they don't know if you're a social media influencer, just say that. Uh, you know, it is what it is. If they send me something and, and I don't feel like, I, I, I mean, I, I do genuinely enjoy my taillights. Had the conversation went differently that I have with them, I would 100% promoted their product. However, it did not. And... So I just don't say where I got them from because I don't want to promote something and you all have the same issues that I had and then have the same experience because I just, uh, it just, there's stuff about it that bugs me and they just, they didn't want to fix it. So it is what it is. Alberto Jr. 1327LU said, hey, you think that wing Ford F-150 1997 or 98, you can adapt the four doors, so the four doors will have good night. I'm going to bet he is a Spanish-speaking person, and uh, I, I don't, I just don't know. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Merkel boy underscore twelve said, "What's all done to the motor of your Silverado and what cam?" So on April Fools I did a joke putting the audio from my vet over on the truck and I lined it up good and a lot of people still think my truck's scammed. Currently it's not. Wait for following video to see. We might throw a can. We might we might throw a little chopstick in there. But um, the truck's completely stock. It's that was just a April Fool's joke and it was apparently a very well done one. I you know had pat myself on the back. Apparently it worked pretty good because a lot of people think my truck is scammed, but it's it's not. Cherry Poppin Sam said he just replied to a couple of my stories. That's cool. You know, I like when people reply to stuff. I usually try to reply back. Like I said, I've just got a freaking crap ton of DMs right now. Gordon Johnson 650 said, "Hey man, big fan. What is the exhaust setup on Baby Squat? It is a cat back True Dual straight pipe. Two factory cats. True Dual. After that, no muffers, no resonators. We've got a couple messages here." All right, silver duck, silver underscore trident. Hey, I have the same truck as you. It's all stock. I like what you've done with your Silverado a lot, so I think I'm going to build my truck the same as yours, except the baby squat. I'm thinking about doing detailed how-to videos as well on YouTube as I go, and I'll be giving you full credit and shout-outs to your page at each video. But I want your permission before I do that because I don't want you thinking I'm stealing your materials. 
Um, I start by buying and ordering parts on Friday. Hopefully, plan on the project. Uh, I've been following you for a long time. Do you think I should do DIY? Uh, go for it. I mean, honestly, like there's so many trucks out running around that I see on Facebook or even in person that look almost identical to my truck. But people have seen my videos. They like how the truck looks. They do the mods. Like that's why I post it. I'll be honest. Back in the day when I did my F-150 videos, my first ones when I was much younger. Um, I was a little more stingy. I'm like, oh, I don't want people to copy me, so I'm just not going to reply to people, or I'm not going to tell them where I got certain things from. And that's just dumb. Who cares? I mean, you're you're probably most likely you're in a different state than me. I don't. You're like, it's fine. We can have twin trucks. It doesn't matter. Um, if you want to make YouTube videos, 100% go for it. Uh, it's definitely not as easy as some people think, but go for it. And give it a shot. He also said, how much do you think a negative 50 offset would come out? Um, apparently, they did change the wheels that I have from a 44 to a 50. I think. And it's, it's just going to be a tiny bit more. Um, the William Cassidy said, I saw you today at ATM and I was trying to get your attention so we could do an old drag race for your truck versus mine. Mine is a bone stock Duramax and so do you say line them up one day. Uh, I didn't, I guess I didn't see you or you didn't come talk to me. I don't know. There's a lot of people there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm down. Uh, bone stock Duramax versus my truck. I have no clue who would win. Uh, yours will probably win, but hey, I'm done to race. Next truck meet, just uh, come over and talk to me. We'll, we'll line it up. Uh, Brett underscore Trey at 42 said, I seen you beat that Tundra at ATM today. He had no chance at all. Uh, it was really close, really close. 16-1 versus a 16-4. Uh, I just jumped him really good. So our times were technically really good, but as far as us racing side by side, I did beat him by quite a bit because I was, I was, yeah, I was on the light pretty good. Uh, John underscore Graham 21. Looks like he sent a video of the truck at ATM. He was he was up next to race and uh, I was there. And like I said, I should I should try to stay. Good gosh, there's so, I have so many DMs. This is insane. Uh, Sam's dot spam dot okay says your truck is sexy. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope my girlfriend doesn't see that. She might come fight you. <laughs> um, underscore dot Ed Rick dot underscore. Are you coming to the truck meet tonight? I have no clue what truck meet you're talking about. And that was on May 30th, so I did not make it. Um, C Mabe 3 says, hey, I was curious. I watched your video on YouTube a while back on your Chevy exhaust. And you said how much it roughly was, but I can't find again. Do you remember how much it was? Uh, 350. I think that's about what it was. It was it was, it was three something. I think it was 350. Marshall. Uh, I can't even say his name. <laughs> he said squat the clap wagon. Uh, I mean Larry's a little squatted. Nothing crazy, but I mean it's, it's a little squat. Um, we'll probably raise the front up, and leave the back at some point. One one two ZLT. So he, he's commented to it on a lot of stuff. Um, his little earliest comment was, "Hey bro, love the videos. You should try to." Try a shell on the bed of your truck. I'm not a big fan, but the Chevy body style looks super good with one. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm honestly not a huge camper shell kind of person. I would never use one, so I don't really need one. But I mean, they do look good on some trucks. Uh, underscore Beasley76. Uh, underscore Jordan2020 said, Where did you get your roof racks from? I got them from Yakima.com. Uh, gasoline trucking said hey bro quick question if you could help me out found your video on your LED reverse light turbo lights I was wondering since the reverse lights were LED did you have to add a resistor um, no um, they're all fine nothing hyper flashes or anything like that on I know newer trucks but uh, depending on if you do them in the front sometimes you can run into those issues but not in the back Peter underscore something another said Hey man, love the channel and the trucks. I am a local. I see you all the time. Do you know what tuner you use to disable V4 mode? So um, that's range technology. It's just a plug-in to your OBD2 port. It doesn't uh, void your warranty. Doesn't leave any trace of it being on the truck. Um, so it just it just tells the truck there's a load and it won't go into V4 mode. So yeah, 200 bucks. Yes, I know you can put it down in manual mode, bump it up to five. You can do all that kind of crap, or you can just spend two hundred dollars, put the module in there, and never have to think it's even working. So yeah, that's that's my take on it. Um, Zara T said, "Hey man, big fan of your channel. I have a 2017, 2016 Silverado that looks kind of like yours. 
I just have one question. Uh, what exhaust and all do you have in your truck to make it sound so mean? Uh, True Dual Catback Straits. Nicholas91202. Hey man, I was wanting to say thanks for the awesome videos and keep them up. If your truck, uh, I. Mm, something, hope you. Mm, so, some, some typos. Um, basically saying he likes to draw. Your videos motivate me to work hard. That's awesome. Hunter H underscore 13. Hey man, I know this is a long shot for a response, but have been following you for about a year or two now. But I just recently bought a 2020 GMC AT4 and it already has water spots. What would you recommend to remove the water spots? I appreciate it. Um, most of the times you can clay bar it, clay bar it, and then wax it or get it ceramic coated. Um, if you if this is still a new truck, I know you commented on this a while back. Um, get it ceramic coated or get it. Um, Get the clear bra put on it, and that way you you know prevent rock chips, prevent water marks, that kind of stuff. But uh, typically a clay bar pulled out. If not, you're gonna have to get it polished. Uh, Eight seventeen underscore GMC. What kind of headlights and taillights did you go with? Um, I'm assuming you're talking about the Silverado stock headlights, just tint, and then the taillights are their custom ones. Christopher underscore twenty four. Hey man, I see you're from Alabama. I li I am as well. What city you're from? Blah blah blah. He lives here. Um, you know, I, I'm just a little private on everything. Uh, if you see my truck, then you know where I'm at, and that's cool. You know, feel free to say what's up when I'm not at work or I'm not somewhere private or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Redneck underscore Trav41 said, when's the Leary video coming? He replied to a... Um, I need to do it soon. I, I, I do need to do the layer exhaust video soon because I've put it off for oh, oh way too long. Chriso dot underscore bunch of replies to stories uh, talking about clapped out. Yep, Larry is clapped out. I haven't driven Larry. I haven't even seen Larry in four or five days now. I got a, I got a couple things in the mail for Larry though, so we're gonna be doing some stuff. Trev Core 2 asked what the exhaust setup on Larry is. It's pre cat back, true dual straights. Alright, this is a long one. Indeed underscore 6.2. Hey man, my name's Chase. I'm from Georgia and I've been watching your channel for a couple years now. And I want, I seen the call out video the other day referring to people you want and your bud, very nice Tundra, to race on the 30th. Well, I was wanting to see if you wanted to race as well. If I can make it down to Montgomery, I got a 2020 Trail Boss with a 6.2, so if we're going to take a shot hitting you up, seeing if Baby Squat 6. Point, how big, seeing how big shot 6.2 versus Baby Squat would do in a race. Keep up the good channel and hope to see you on the 30th. Uh, I guess I did not see you. I guess you didn't come. But, um, yeah, I mean, next truck meet, for, for sure. You, you're 100% smoke me uh, because my truck's a stock 5.3 with big wheels and tires. But, um, yeah, that would, I mean, I'm down to race. Campbell Jones says, hey, man, I got 2014 5.3, and I'm looking to get it dueled out just like yours, but all the shops in my area can't do it with the third converter. Did you run it into any something? No. Um, just where I'm located, it's not really any problems with that. Um, but I have had several people say that shops did not want to take the third cat off. A lot of people don't even say it's a cat. They say it's a resonator or a muffler or whatever. I haven't looked up exactly what it is, but a lot of people say it's the third cat. Um, I know there's a couple dudes that have DM me, and I've talked to them about it. They just went and chopped it off right before the third cat, and then just go to the exhaust shop and say, hey, weld me an exhaust. They have no liability for taking it off, and, and you got an exhaust. Oh, we have so many DMs. This is insane. Um, Wheels Weekly. Hey, man, love your channel. Just started a truck channel. I'm trying to make money to build my truck. Would you check mine out? I know what you want. 24 inch reps on my 07 F150 clear headlights. Da, da, da. Send me some links, which unfortunately they don't go anywhere. You can't click them. Uh, big fan of your channel. I need some advice. Hey man, I got a question. Uh, I'll say right off the bat, the number one way to not get a response is to add, is to say I have a question. Just go ahead and ask the question. Uh, if I see it and I read it, I'll probably reply. But if you say you have a question but don't ask the question, it's probably not going to get a reply just because, just, just ask the question. Simple as that. Uh, Mitch underscore Raf 12. Hey man, if y'all mind me asking, what size tips do you have on Larry? Also, what angle do they come out at? At 45? 
Um, I have no clue what angle they're at. They're just I, at the exhaust shop. I go up, hold the tip up, and I'm like, yo, I want them to come out right here. If you can make that work with the leaf springs and everything, put them right there. That's how I do it. Um, the size of them, I think they're five by eighteen. Uh, NHL underscore God underscore seven sixteen. I have a few questions. Does your LED flash like that? I guess he's in the video. Um, no, it doesn't flash anything weird. Um, what fuel are you running? Just eighty seven. Baby squat, Larry. Well, Larry's been running 93 for a while because I used such little fuel in that thing that it might as well run something good. Um, baby squat's perfectly fine with 87. Um, Caleb Fuller, 4. Hey, man, are you from so-and-so? Uh, then he replied, Big Mead about to get walked like a dog. <laughs> That's freaking good. He did. He did. Times were close, but I, I, I walked. Uh, will you be at ATM this year by underscore perfect underscore struggle? Yes, I was. I will pretty much be at all the ATMs because my good buddy Jacob does put those on. Cooper, Neil, two. I got some questions about Larry. When you get a chance, I have a 99 F-150. Um, like I said, just go ahead and ask the question. Don't say that you have a question or ask if you can ask a question. You can totally ask a question. Just go ahead and send it. Um, Hughes C 71 hey man, you had any trouble out of your exhaust setup? I'm running the same setup as yours. I was just curious if you had any trouble yet. Uh, no. You know, some people ask if I have a check engine light or whatever, but the truck doesn't know it's there. It's after all the O2 sensors, the truck has no clue. Garrison underscore underscore 95. I enjoy the crap out of your content. I look up to you, bro. Keep up the good work and you're a good YouTuber. I appreciate it. And then he sent, yo, check out what I did to your pics. Don't get too upset. I think, uh, I think it was hacked. It sounds like a hack to me. Um, but yeah, it's... Hey, that's, that's sick. I don't think I'm the most amazing role model in the world by any means, but it, as far as, like, truck stuff, I appreciate it. PattonKingK.5. Hey, man, love your videos. What exact headlight tint did you use? Uh, it's just Amazon, um, the darker version of the headlight tint that they offer for sale. Matt underscore Mal85 replied to my uh, story, said, Blessed by the sacrifice of those who laid down their lives for our country. And absolutely. Um... The military, you know, I know there's a lot of crap going on with the police right now and stuff, but uh, there's good and bad people everywhere. Um, you know, the bad need to be held accountable, but you can't just write off the good for the few bad. King Brando 12, what size leveling kit do you have on your truck? Three inch Motofab leveling kit with ready lift upper control arms. But Motofab makes them even though they're sold out right now. Uh, Wooks.17, just curious, have the same dash cam as you, curious to know what size SD you have on yours, it seems as if it overwrites itself over a few hours, I have it hardwired exactly what you have on YouTube video, also have been a floor fan since the beginning, well I appreciate that, um, I think I got a 128 or a 256, um, I had just like a 32 in there and you're right, it did every couple hours, you'd have to catch You'd have to figure out something happened to your truck fairly quick to be able to use the footage if you have a small SD card. But I was uh, trying to take mine out one day and drop the card and it went down in my AC on the dash. So then I just went and got a large card. And um, yeah, I think now mine records like a full day at least. And so I drive my truck every single day. So if there's something wrong with it, I will know and have time to, to check the footage. Juice 10 2K, love your content and have been watching for a little over a year and a half now, but I still haven't figured out how to say your channel name. Is it LMF Screw or LMF's Crew? Like, I really don't know at this point. Please help. So, like I said, I will make an exposed video at 100K of where I came up with a name, but as of right now, today, it is LMF's Crew. So I've been going off of the LMF Loud Modified Fast LMF's Crew. We are all the crew. Loud Modified Fast Crew. So LMF's Crew. Um, if you want the original, how I came up with that, let's get to 100K. It's not even that serious, but let's get to 100K anyways. Um, underscore the Colton Smith. I just ordered a huge sticker pack and was going to sticker bomb the windshield like Larry. I've always wanted to, but then I watched the video and finally decided to go through with it. And then he sent a picture. It looks like a cat eye Chevrolet, maybe a round body. Sticker bomb it. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I, it's 
it's neat. Jared.Sieber, where did you get your seat covers? Sportsman camo. Uh, can you answer some questions for me? I got the same truck and would like to know where you got some accessories. Um, like I said, ask the question. Don't ask if you can ask the question. Uh, and then just Google whatever I have. Like if I have like um, my Aturos, which I'll talk about. Just Google them. Um, the black LED tail lights. Google that. Black LED tail lights for 2018 Silverado. 99% of the chance it's going to pop up something you're going to be able to see. Um, we're down to 77 requests. I think that's going to be it because this is going to be a long video as well. So um, leave a like if you did enjoy this. I'll go through the rest of them or catch up on ones that we get from here on out. And so, yeah, hopefully I did answer a lot of your questions. But with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. See you all in the next one.